Hi, Cindy here from Pure Simple Photoshop. Today we're going to talk about a problem that happens uh, with cameras. It's called Moire. And um, it's basically, um, I'm going to go over here, it's basically this rainbow pattern. Sometimes it shows up as um, just circles without the rainbow color, just the circles. Um, and you can see it on many different spots in cameras. Now, just a little quick tutorial on what exactly it is. Um, basically, what Moire is, is a interference pattern that shows up when you have a pattern in your image. So in this case, it's the, it's the pattern of the knit uh, in that picture of the, oh, not that one. In the picture of the baby, it's causing, it's being caused by the, the uh, ribbons pattern, the gross grain on the ribbon is causing it. And basically what it is is interference between the pattern that is in your picture and the pattern of pixels that are on your sensor. And so this, um, this interference happens whenever you have a fine pattern on an image and your patterns are misaligned. And actually XKCD, who make the funniest cartoons, has a, a pretty good description of this took a picture of my computer screen. Why is the photo covered in weird rainbow patterns? And I'm not going to sing it, but when a grid's misaligned with the one behind, that's amore. Um, so that's basically what it is. When the pattern is misaligned with your pixels, with your sensor pixels, you'll get this interference pattern. Um, it is more prevalent now than it used to be. And the reason for that is that many manufacturers have removed a filter that used to be inside your camera called an anti-aliasing filter. And that filter has been removed um, because without the filter, our pictures are sharper. The problem is, is that you now end up with more more often. There are some things you can do when shooting to avoid more. Um, so in this case, the pattern is the fishnet sort of netting on this uh, lady's dress and you can see that the pattern here is the rainbow colors the things that you can do to avoid it while shooting is change your f-stop um, increasing your f-stop will give you um, less pattern sometimes um, getting slightly closer so that the pattern is bigger than the sensor uh, pixels because of course it only happens when the pixels and the pattern on the on what you're taking a picture of line up incorrectly. If what you're taking a picture of is bigger than the pixels, then you won't have this problem. And the last thing you can do, of course, is when you notice the it after you've taken the shot is to correct it. Now there's lots of ways to correct this, but I'm going to show you the absolute easiest way. Photoshop and Lightroom both have this. And so it's, uh, it's quite an effective way to fix it. So first off, you can do this from either from ACR, from Adobe Camera Raw, when you first open a file, you can do it from the filter, um, Camera Raw filter, and you can do it in Lightroom. So I'm gonna show you basically how it works, but I'm gonna use Camera Raw filter. It's exactly the same in all three places. So I'm just gonna make a duplicate copy because I don't wanna work on my, on my main copy. And I'm gonna to go to filter and go Camera Raw filter. And then all you do is up here to the adjustment brush, and you can see that there is an adjustment here called Moray Reduction. And you just slide it up to, I don't know, 50, sure. Um, and then just paint it in. And you can see as soon as I paint this in that that ugly rainbow color just disappears. Now, the one thing that doesn't disappear uh, quite as well, and it's pretty evident on this ribbon, you can still see the interference pattern showing up here. That's clearly not the pattern the ribbon should have. Um, but in the image, this is actually zoomed in a whole bunch. Um, in the actual full size image of this, the pattern isn't really noticeable. Um, so, you know, whether you want to fix that or not is sort of dependent on the image. Uh, I'm going to show you again here with this other test shot. So again, this is um, zoomed in quite a bit. I've zoomed in so that we don't see who these people are um, for, you know, privacy sake. Um, and then we're going to just go in here again, filter, camera raw filter, and adjustment brush. We're going to set the moray setting and then paint it in where you need to change it. And you can see that it takes it out quite nicely. 
one thing you should do is bring this slider down to just the point where you start to see it back. You don't want to have it too much because it actually does affect the pattern of the thing that you're taking a picture of. Um, and so you want to have it so that the uh, moiré is gone, but you're not destroying the pattern of whatever it was you were taking a picture of. That looks about right for me. And so that's done. So if we look at it before and after, you can see the difference there. And uh, the before and after, oh, I forgot to hit OK. Look at that. We're just going to do that one again then, huh? Do, 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 filter, paint it in. La, 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 la. OK. Um, and so the before and after here, again, getting that rainbow color out. And then if we look back here on the red dress. Now, this is where it's going to get a little bit interesting because I have a problem with this file. There's something wrong with it. I don't know what it is. I just spent an hour and a half on the phone with Adobe trying to figure out why. So I'm going to show you this because it's weird. Here you go. Um, this file, um, I'm going to go over here to Lightroom for a second. And I'll show you how to do it in Lightroom as well while I'm here. So over here in Lightroom, I'm just going to reset the file. You can see the pattern is here. In Lightroom, you just go into the adjustment brush. Yeah, right. Adjustment brush, not radio filter. Adjustment brush. Adjustment brush, Mora, and then we can just paint it in where we need it to be. And you can see that it gets rid of this quite easily here. And on this particular dress, one of the things you want to do is when you're doing this adjustment, you want to make sure you zoom in. And do you see that it's made a little bit of a line here on the outside? Um, it's not really noticeable there, but it is noticeable when we zoom in. And that's because we've gone a little bit farther over the edge. So if we show the display mask, you can see that hmm, my mask color is the same color as her dress. Um, but you can see that we're over the edge here. So you definitely would want to clean that up by using your minus brush and I'm holding option down to bring up my minus brush and just clean up the edges so that you don't have um, so you don't have that going over but even with that you can see that the uh, adjustment is pretty easy to use just paint it on and it's gone the other thing that I would suggest is um, I'm going to just make a minus spot right here in the middle I'm just going to paint away some of this um, you can see if you look really close that where the adjustment brush is has sort of dampened the um, what the pattern looks like. It sort of made it slightly blurry. Um, that's actually what the anti-aliasing filter used to do as well, which is why um, they decided to get rid of it. They wanted sharper photos. So if that is happening and it's noticeable, then one of the things you can do is go over the entire dress so that you're not just going in one spot and having one spot slightly blurrier than another spot. You have to go over the whole dress. You could also try turning down the filter to see if the, uh, the change is less noticeable. Now, the thing I wanted to show you about this is that, see the adjustment brush works perfectly fine here in Lightroom on this image. The weird part is when I go back over here to Photoshop, I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to make a duplicate, duplicate layer, go to filter, go to camera raw filter, the exact same way I did a minute ago. And we'll zoom in. We'll grab our adjustment brush, make sure we have more uh, set up. And then we're going to brush it on. Now, this is where it got weird for me because nothing happened. <laughs> nothing not a little bit not even anything here we'll just give this whole big section you can see where I'm painting I've changed my mask color to green so that I could really see because I thought I was going crazy here but you can see that I've got the adjustment painted in and it hasn't done anything and so I thought well did my adjustment brush not work but no see look I can change the exposure of that area I can add or decrease texture, which by the way, can work a little bit to get rid of Moira, but you'll notice that you can still see the, the Moira interference pattern, but not the texture of the dress that she's wearing. So that doesn't really work very well. And it doesn't matter what I set this at. So after a long period of time with Adobe, 
we have come to the conclusion that there is something wrong with this file. I don't know what it is. Adobe doesn't know what it is. But this adjustment brush just does not work on this file. And so if this happens to you, here's the workaround that we figured out. You can do it in Lightroom. It worked in Lightroom. You can also do it. So weirdly, it also worked if I open this file directly as a DNG. And this is the camera raw that comes up when it first opens. And if I go in here, you see you still have the adjustment brush. And here's the reduction. And it works here. So if you're having this problem, if you have a, a, an adjustment brush that's not working um, like this, I don't know what the solution is. I really don't. Um, like, I don't know why it's not working. It should have been working. But here's the thing to try. Try opening it as a camera raw file directly into camera raw and see if it works there. If it doesn't work there, try using the Lightroom version and see if it works. And I'd be really interested to know if anyone else is having this problem or if it's just something weird in my computer. So if you're having this problem, let me know about it so that I can, you know, be rest assured it's not just me. Anyway, that is the quick and simple way to fix Moire um, in your images. I am going to record a video for the slightly longer and more complex way to fix this, but that will be part two. Thanks a lot for listening. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.